Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Heidi, and thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy of the Word. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, the newborn King. Did you know that we're still in the Christmas season? Yes, that's why our prayer table still has white and gold on it. And today, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. Do you know who's in the Holy Family? There are three people. Take a guess. Yes, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. They are the Holy Family. Our gathering song today will help us remember who is in the Holy Family. Let's learn some signs in American Sign Language first. We're going to learn how to sign the words holy and family. For the word holy, make a flat hand and then take two fingers with the other hand. Then slide those fingers over your flat hand. Good, let's practice again. Hand flat, two fingers and slide. Nicely done. Now let's sign the word family. Make circles with your thumbs and pointer fingers on both hands like this. Then put them together and make a circle. Good, let's practice again. Circles with your fingers, then circle with your hands. Now let's put these two words together to make holy family. Here we go. Holy family. Nicely done. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called The Holy Family. Sing along with me. When baby Jesus came to be here with us on earth, he was born into a family who welcomed him at birth. The Holy Family, the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are the Holy Family. Mary was his mother's name, a girl who loved the Lord. She wiped his tears and calmed his fears and helped him learn to pray. The Holy Family, the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are the Holy Family. Mary married Joseph, a man who worked with wood. He taught Jesus how to play and cared for him each day. The Holy Family, the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are the Holy Family. Jesus had a family who always put God first. Make my family holy, Lord, Loving everyone on earth The Holy Family The Holy Family Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are The Holy Family Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are The Holy Family Wonderful job singing and signing along, boys and girls. Let's look at our coloring page. Who do you see on our coloring page this week? Yes, the Holy Family. We just sang about the Holy Family, didn't we? And here are Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Why do we call Jesus, Mary, and Joseph the Holy Family? Well, because God gave Mary and Joseph an important job to love, care for, and teach Jesus, God's only Son. The Holy Family always put God first. With the Holy Family as our guide, our families can become more holy too. Let's light a candle to show that we're ready 
to listen to God's word. Today's first reading has some special advice for all children. Listen closely. A reading from the book of Sirach. Children, the Lord expects you to honor your father and has given your mother authority over you. If you honor your father, your sins will be forgiven. If you praise your mother, Treasure will be stored up in heaven for you. If you honor your father, your own children will make you happy, and all of your prayers will be answered. If you respect your father, you will live a long life, and if you listen to the Lord, your mother can relax. The Word of the Lord. And we say together, Thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Boys and girls, what did we hear in our first reading? It was about one of the Ten Commandments God gave us. Do you know which one? Well, if you said honoring or respecting your father and mother, you're right. Our first reading told us how God wants us to treat our parents. Is it hard to obey or listen to your parents sometimes? I think it is for a lot of children. But remember that God calls us to listen to our parents because he promises us some really wonderful things if we do. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we will sing together. Our words today are, Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. The Lord will bless you if you respect him and obey his laws. Your fields will produce and you will be happy and all will go well. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his way. Your wife will be as fruitful as a grapevine, and just as an olive tree is rich with olives, your home will be rich with healthy children. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in His way. That is how the Lord will bless everyone who respects Him. I pray that the Lord will bless you from Zion and let Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in Happy are those who fear the Lord. Wait, how can we be happy if we're afraid of God? Well, fear means something a little different here. It means to respect God. So let's say this psalm now in a way we can understand. We are happy when we respect the Lord and follow his rules. We are happy when we respect God and do what he asks us to do, right? Let's do our best to follow God's laws each day. Today, we're going to read our second reading as well. In today's second reading, St. Paul will give us special advice on how to treat all the people we know, 
especially the members of our own families. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other and forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Love is more important than anything else. It is what ties everything completely together. Each of you is part of the body of Christ, and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives while you use all your wisdom to teach and instruct each other. With thankful hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks to God the Father because of him. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Wow, this reading was so wonderful, boys and girls. It reminds us to treat others gently and with kindness and to forgive like Christ forgives us. It reminds us to show love and to let the peace of Christ come through us so that we're peaceful in all that we do. We can show God our love too by treating other people nicely. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We come to praise the glory of your name. Gather to hear the word. In today's gospel, we're going to hear about a time when Mary and Joseph were very worried about their 12-year-old son, Jesus. Listen closely to find out why. The Lord be with you, and we say together, and with your spirit. Your turn, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord, may Jesus be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great worry. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? 
Didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew older and wiser and gained favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Boys and girls, did you listen closely? Why were Mary and Joseph so worried about Jesus? Go ahead and tell me. Yes. They couldn't find Jesus. He was lost. Can you imagine how Mary and Joseph felt when they couldn't find Jesus anywhere? They couldn't find Jesus for three whole days. I'm sure that was especially hard for Mary, his mother. But do you remember where they found him? Well, they found him in the temple, which is where the Jewish people worshipped God. Now, of course, Mary and Joseph were relieved and happy that they had found Jesus. But Mary was probably a little upset with Jesus, too. She said, Son, why did you do this to us? Joseph and I have been looking for you everywhere. Do you remember how Jesus responded? He said, Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I have to be in my father's house? Hmm. What did Jesus mean by his father's house? Well, he was talking about God's house. Jesus was in God's house because God was his father and Jesus was God's son. Jesus was asking questions and surprising all of the teachers of the faith because he knew so much. Everyone thought Jesus was very smart and very wise. After Mary and Joseph found him, though, Jesus traveled back to his hometown of Nazareth. And we heard that he was very good at obeying his parents from then on. Boys and girls, we said earlier that it can be hard to obey our parents sometimes. I know we have all felt that way at one time or another. But it's important to learn from Jesus when he was a boy. We read in the Bible that when Jesus returned with Mary and Joseph, he obeyed them and listened to them. Obeying your parents is one way to show your love to your parents and also love for God. The holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph can be a wonderful example for our families too, reminding us to love each other, respect our parents, and grow in faith together with God always at the center of our lives. Let's say, Holy Family, help my family to grow in faith, hope, and love. Your turn. Holy Family, help my family to grow in faith, hope, and love. Well done. Now it's time to sing a song to say what we believe in to profess our faith. Your part will be, Yes, Lord, I believe. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he 
rose again. Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. I believe, I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God trusting in God to care for us in all our needs. Let us pray. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, keep Pope Francis and all church leaders safe from evil and sin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, Keep all countries of the earth safe from war and injustice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, keep all our families safe from danger and harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering, and for all doctors and nurses who take care of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to respect every human as a child of God, no matter their skin color, language, culture, or stage of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. Let's fold our hands. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, you gave us the Holy Family as an example of how to live together in faith, hope, and love. Please help our families to grow in these virtues. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls, but don't worry, there's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Holy Family coloring page. Thank you for sending in your beautiful art to us. We'll show your coloring pages at the end of this week or next week's episode. 
If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. Did you know that Miss Heidi uses the Flom Children Celebrate Leaders Guide to help script each episode? To order the Children Celebrate Liturgy of the Word with Children program, the new 2021 to 2022 Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, or the Flom Gospel Weekly's Faith Formation program for your home, parish, or school, visit BayardFaithResources.com. Save 15% on select products with promo code Miss Heidi. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today. Happy Feast of the Holy Family. Don't forget to be kind to everyone in your family today. Stay well. God bless you. And remember that Jesus loves you. Joseph, my friend, don't be afraid For the Lord has chosen you The Son of God The one you've waited for Needs someone to watch over him Joseph, please care for him And walk with him through every day Teach him in the world of your ways You'll be so proud of him As you watch him grow From boy to man The Son of God sent So we may live Joseph, take Mary As your wife For she has always been true Son, the promised one, Emmanuel. Joseph, please care for him and walk with him through every day. Teach him in all of your ways. You'll be so proud of him as you watch him grow. A boy to man, the Son of God sent. So we may live. Teach him to be a carpenter. Teach him to be just like you. For our son will build tomorrow's world. He'll be the light for all to see. Joseph, please care for him and walk with him through every day. Teach him in all of your ways. You'll be so proud of him as you watch him grow. From boy to man, the Son of God sent so we may live. You'll be so proud of him as you watch him grow. From boy to man, the Son of God sent so we may hear